lots of uh, wing competitions. He's agreeing over there, right? So oh, wow. uh, that's our honey stinger sauce. So it's a, it's a little spicy. What's up, it's Luis from America's Best Restaurants and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. So this week we're in Terre Haute, Indiana and we're at a restaurant called Charlie's Neighborhood Pub and Grub. We're gonna get to talk to Shane and Nikki who are the owners. We're gonna get to see some of their amazing items like their chicken wings, which are unbelievable, plus a few other things. So look, I know you're hungry because you're watching this. So why don't you come with me? Let's go check it out. So now we are inside Charlie's Neighborhood Pub and Grub. We're here with Shane, and he spells it the fancy way, and with Nikki. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for having us. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Now, starting out, so I know this place has been here for quite a while. How did you guys get into the restaurant industry? Because I know you're not from the restaurant industry. We're talking off camera. Yeah. You have an interesting story, so tell me about yeah. that. So we, we were both in uh, logistics and warehousing and uh, human resources. And uh, secretly, we always wanted to be in the industry. We always uh, dreamed of owning a bar. And uh, so it happens my uncle and aunt actually owned Charlie's before us. Okay. Right? And they were ready to kind of move on to that next phase in their career. And uh, we talked. Mickey and I talked together. And, we decided ultimately that uh, you know we'd rather take a chance uh, and uh, potentially regret buying that bar that one time <laughs> rather than uh, wondering, <laughs> always wondering what if, you know. Okay. Yeah, so uh, here we are. We so, uh, quit our jobs and dove in. So the, had you been here before doing things at the restaurant or it was no. like completely blind faith and yeah. let's just do it? Yeah, it was largely uh, blind faith. It was a pretty cold. Uh, we, we didn't even live in Terre Haute, so uh, we, we knew that uh, my aunt and uncle owned Charlie's and it was a pretty popular place. And, and that's it? Uh, that was it. So that was the only decision? And, yeah. Wow. Okay. And I checked it out a few times and kind of started putting wheels in motion. Wow. Wow, so you went from corporate America to being a restaurant owner? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, that that's definitely commendable because not everybody can do that. And you know, you can clearly tell, and I was telling you this off camera, you can clearly tell the places when you walk in that are owner operated like you guys. I know you and I were talking, you were trying to get your wife's attention like three times and she's like zoned in, talking to customers, doing table touches. And that was pretty cool. He's like, hey, and she's just walking, doo -doo -doo -doo, talking to everybody, which was really cool to see. Yeah, because it, it matters, you know. Yeah, it doesn't even bother me when she ignores me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it personal yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have some really really cool food items here in front of us, so we might as well just start. Yeah, these look incredible. Yeah, talk to me about right. this. So uh, our, our wings are uh, award-winning wings. Uh, okay. we, we win lots of uh, wing competitions. He's agreeing over there, right? So oh, wow. uh, that's our honey stinger sauce. So it's a, it's a little spicy, a little sticky, a little sweet. Lots of mm. garlic kick to it. Uh, they're 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 pretty dynamite. I, I eat, obviously eat too many of them. Those are fantastic. Wow, thank you. Appreciate they're that. so good. Appreciate it. And yeah, they have the, a little stickiness. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Korean sticky wings. Sure, yeah, yeah. But yeah. but they do have that different flavor. I can taste the garlic. These are phenomenal, man. Uh, awesome. Wow, I'll, so good. You like them. So good. I would definitely come back and order these, 100%. Excellent. What is this thing right now? Do you want to take that one? Um, it's our barbecue tacos. It's a pretty popular appetizer for us. A lot of local stuff going on in there. 
Um, we're kind of known for tater tots as a side. Okay. And then we uh, put a local guy's barbecue on it, OMG mm. barbecue. And then we have another guy that we get our barbecue sauce from. It's made locally of uh, that. And then oh. after cheese, we make our full slot in house. So That's really good. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Beezer's man. barbecue sauce and OMG since we were going out. You know, right. And I, and I know we were talking off camera. And there's a lot of things that you guys get local. Yeah. Here, yeah. Which is great to support the community and everything. Yeah. We're sitting right next to the Afterburner Brewing guys, a great local brewery. Uh, but yeah, we, we collaborate and work with lots of different small businesses in town. That's awesome. Now this right here. Uh, that's our uh, truffle fries. So uh, we, we, we like the old school crinkle cut fries. Uh, we toss them in a truffle oil, hit them with Parmesan and uh, some basil. Uh, just great truffle flavor. Uh, so again, a fries. super popular item. Uh, it, I think she orders half of all the truffle fries that go out oh, of here, but yeah, that, that's her thing. <laughs> so. yeah. That's great. Now, <laughs> this guy right here, right. what do we got? So uh, for, for us, Charlie's is all about the Tweety Burger. Okay. Uh, the, the name Tweety comes from the original owners, uh, Morris and Betty Tweety. Okay. Uh, so uh, every burger is fresh ground that morning by a local, another local business, uh, oh, Cox wow. Butcher Shop. Uh, they're half pound ground beef, 80-20. Cook them on a flat top, hit them with a Charlie seasoning. Uh, it's the only thing that we'll keep secret from Okay, all right. Uh, th this particular model is the Cowboy Tweety, so it's uh, cheddar cheese, more of that barbecue sauce, and uh, fried onions. Um, and it's uh, my favorite, so that's why is you it? got it, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. And then we do it with the tots because uh, tots are delicious. Okay. And is that like one of your top sellers? Yeah, yeah. so so beyond the uh, original Tweety, this is the number one Tweety. So this is your favorite, is this your favorite thing overall on the menu? It probably is. Probably? Yeah. Yeah. Nikki, what's your favorite? The wings. The I'm, wings? I'm for the wings and the truffle fries. Yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Now, is there any, <clears throat> any maybe like a like an item in the menu that's like kind of like a diamond in the rough that somebody, that you could recommend to somebody that they haven't ordered? Like some, yeah, know. the pot roast sucks. Oh, yeah, pot we, roast we, we do up, our yeah. own pot ah, roast. Yeah, look, they're gonna say the afterburner guys. guys. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> pot roast. Just had it. The onion straws, the uh, cheddar cheese. It's yeah. delicious. Pot roast sub. So that's like a secret, kind of like a gem yes. in the rough. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a good, good classic, like home cooking type of sandwich, and just uh, hits the right spot. So is that time. is that one of those that you could recommend to somebody who's been here a few times and yeah. like? You gotta try this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think oh, yeah. it's something that people easily miss, and then okay. when, you, when they try it, they, they're hooked. That's it. Yeah. That's that's the yeah. okay. Yeah, for sure. Game changer. Okay, that's oh, very and the cool. Nacho cheese on it. <laughs> yeah. See, we got commentary from the from the table next door too. <laughs> so you guys have something really interesting. Austin pointed this out. You guys have a round of beers for the kitchen staff. Tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we we saw that in one of our travels, and we thought it was like such a cool way to pay homage to the guys in the back that never get uh, the the proper respect. You know. So uh, you're able to uh, basically donate ten dollars to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, not allowed to drink. Nope. No, we're good. Thank uh, you. So you're not allowed to uh, drink while they're on the clock, but okay. what we do is we, we load up a gift card for the guys and they're able to have a beer when they get off and share a beer with each other. So that's very cool. Beer, they each get their own. No, that's, <laughs> that's very cool. I, I haven't seen that ever before, but yeah, totally. I mean, a lot of people, in, especially in the back of the house, they don't even get the recognition because as, as a consumer, you go to the table and the, ma the food just magically appears. Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't understand what happens in the background of all the different things that have yeah. to be orchestrated for this to actually appear to look like this and taste like this. Uh, right? un unsung heroes back there. They're, they're the ones grinding it out and, and making all the magic happen. Yeah. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Look, everybody, if you're looking for more restaurants, just like this now, if you like restaurant content make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know whenever we drop a new episode now guys how can people find out more information about your restaurant oh man uh you know facebook instagram uh we're on twitter uh the charlie's pub and grub .com if okay. you want to look us up uh, on the interwebs uh, all the review sites we're, we're we're pretty out there right yeah we're trying to get her to do a TikTok. You know, not gonna happen. So. <laughs> okay, and then what's the address here? All right, it's uh, 1608 Crawford Street, Terre Haute, right in the middle of the neighborhood. There you go, absolutely. Look, and everybody, if you're local, you gotta be here on a weekly basis, if not multiple times a week. They have a beautiful patio outside, great murals. So in the summer, this place has gotta be a zoo. Crazy I mean, it's got to be, yeah. you told me you can see 250 people out there. Yeah, That's yeah. insane. Um, we do live music three times a week outside. Wow. And, uh, it, it's, 
it, it, it's popping out there. The That's summer. awesome. So you got to be here on a weekly basis, if not multiple times a week, if, if you're local. If you are traveling, make sure to stop by. These are my favorite right now, these wings. So you can also find a full listing for them on americasbestrestaurants.com. And that's pretty much it for us. I'm gonna crush these wings. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.